Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review. And today, the Walmart exclusive Velocitron Speedia 500 collection, uh, Victory Universe Galaxy Shuttle, uh, which is basically Astro Train with a jazz head sculpt. But I had I have no idea who this character is. I've never had the chance to watch Victory. Um, actually, I need to get caught up on those uh, Japanese shows because the more and more I hear about them, the more they seem appealing. But yeah, um, I have to say though, it, it's already open, right? Because that's me. And if you open the box, it's super loose, like poor quality, like Rodim you know, the, the um, Commander class figures had sturdy boxes. Uh, to an extent, uh, the uh, Studio Series 86 Dinobots, the first two, had you know good boxes. Uh, most of the War for Cybertron were you know at least you know I don't know a quarter of an not a quarter but an eighth of an inch. This is super flimsy. Like the moment you remove the the, the, the inside, this is just a loose mess. So I, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this box because I keep my boxes in case I have to move. Uh, but th there's no plastic insert, so it's not gonna hold the figure any better now that the uh, those screws are removed. So, yeah, I don't know. I might not keep it. But uh, he's already out of the box, and uh, well, take a look at him. I think he looks pretty darn good. So we're gonna take a look at it. It's gonna be mostly a comparison video with Astro Train because Astro Train was my f is my favorite mold of the entire uh, Morpheus Cybertron line because it's the first Decepticon I bought for myself. And he's a triple changer, and he was really fun, really good, and way better than Blitzwing anyway. So I really like this. And the moment that they announced that they were doing a repaint of that mold, I just grabbed it. Didn't care who the character was, just I needed to have it. So I have it. I uh, came in in a smashed up box. The box is actually a little damaged. Uh, and the, the, the transport box was totally punched in. Um, so uh, FedEx and Walmart. But well, before I go ahead, make sure to, uh, you know, later check out my voice acting playlist and my interview playlist, I mean features of my channel, something I'm extremely proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, uh, where I would have bought this figure if uh, it wasn't an exclusive at Walmart. But check uh, DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store, and at the end of the video, um, you know, around the last 30 seconds, you can get your uh, discount code uh, for 10% off anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Kind of running out of space, so let's just take a look at the box first. Hasbro's been killing it with their packaging art in the last, I don't know, six years really good uh, you know we have the shuttle mode on the side you have some japanese decks so i guess this is a victory something and you have the robot again out here you have the product shot of the train and on the flap you have product shot of shuttle in the back you have product shots yeah my setup is too small for this hold on uh, there you go. Oh, let's get a little ring light. There you go. That's the product shot for. Uh, and then you have the uh, here the assembly how to make the uh, launch pad. And yeah, there you go. Instructions are, you know, big poster, really large. They show you where to plug everything. They show you transformation from shuttle to train. So shuttle to train. You have from train. A robot you don't have robot to train but they do show you uh, show you have you know how to put in everything so that you can put the uh, uh, all the accessories in the back and the foot and how you can put all the accessory within the trailer so that you know you plug it to the inside the train and it's more of a disguise instead of a weaponized train and then you have uh, how to make a huge kick-ass cannon I don't know if these are the same instructions we got from, with uh, Astro Train. It's just, it, uh, there's some, tons of stuff in there that I, I, I don't recall. Now, uh, let's uh, show you the accessories. And as I said, I wanted to do a comparison. So 
Here are the accessories uh, for uh, Galaxy Shuttle and Astro Train. So if you look at the, you know, it's the same molded details for every gun. I'm not going to show all of them, but yeah, it's just paint. I don't understand why this one here, they would give us two black but it, and this one is red plastic painted black. And this one looks more like black plastic. Why wouldn't you just leave this one red like the others? Why would you paint just one gun? I don't know. But it's all the same accessory, same details. I guess I am showing all of them. Uh, no difference except the paint job. Uh, they look good. Yeah, I'm used to these weapons. Uh, and then this one you hold from underneath. It's kind of a mini gun. I don't know what's the name for it, but it looks really good. And then this here, um, you know, the Astro Train trailer fits the color deco of Astro Train perfectly. Uh, you know, it matches the purple, the gray, the black. So it's good. This one doesn't have many color. Like there's a bit of blue on Galaxy Shuttle. Uh, maybe there's a little silver. I mean, we'll take a look, but there's no white and barely any black. Uh, which is the main colors of, you know, the figure. So this kind of is an eyesore. And it does the exact same thing as it did with Astro Train. You can unfold it uh, here. You know, there's nice paint uh, details here. Uh, like this. And then you can do the platform to launch the, uh, the shuttle. I'll show it later, you know, all assembled, so. And then you can also remove this platform here to do the extra feet on uh, both figures. And I don't know, it, it doesn't really work well. So, but anyway, this is, uh, I like the, 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 the mode when it's in a trailer, you know, so that it, it you know, um, what's the word, elongate the, uh, the train mode. And, you know, that train is fantastic anyway, so. But this, uh, it's, a, it's a good accessory. My son loves to take this and fold it out and pretend it's a plane. Don't ask me why. I don't know. He's five. And there you go. These are the accessory for Galaxy Shuttle and Astro Train. And now for Galaxy Shuttle and Astro Train, I wanted to check if there was any, maybe a slight mold de details that could have changed. Uh, so I, I haven't taken a look at them uh, intensively. So let's, uh, let's do so. Uh, beside the head sculpt, which both head sculpt very nicely done. Uh, Galaxy Shuttle uh, reminiscent of Jazz. I don't know if the character is a, you know, a Jazz reformat. I don't think so, but could be. But if you look at, let's say, the shoulders, exact same details. A little more paint. I and mean, Galaxy Shuttle is, paint, is heavily more painted than Astro Train. Uh, the joints are tighter when you transform him. Uh, it's uh, There's uh, more uh, resistance in the joints, but it's still the same mold. Um, you know, at the waist, same details, a little more paint on Astro Train. Uh, the skirt flap, uh, same thing, so does the leg. I do like the silver on, uh, you know, it breaks the, the whole white thing. So to have black and silver instead of just gray. Uh, looks really good. Uh, the legs, same thing, except, you know, battle damage on Astro Train and the Autobot logo split in half on Galaxy Shuttle. Um, let's see if there's other details. Uh, see, Astro Train, you can, you know, put it backwards and then move it like this uh, when the legs are folded. And it works the exact same way on Galaxy Shuttle, which, all right, thank you which I've missed transform. Uh, you should go like this. So you can do the same angle on the leg. So no difference there. And the back, it's the same thing too. Uh, the eyesore of the little dot, the gray on the back leg, the white here. Uh, you know, they could have painted that the same color. Wouldn't, uh, would have been okay. Yeah, it's the exact same mold. I mean, everybody's been, uh, knows Astro Train already. So just for paint application on this guy, really good. Uh, the face sculpt is really nice. 
Uh, nice detail here on the shoulder, the abs. Nice break with the uh, silver. Uh, I like the details from the uh, shuttle mode that translate here. And, you know, overall, I think I like the deco a little better on this guy. Just because it's not just gray with a couple highlights. There's black, there's white, red, you know. Uh, Astro Train does have that little yellow mohawk. So there you go, final look at uh, the robot mode. And now let's go for uh, shuttle mode. And here we are in shuttle mode. This is the launching form. There's another, uh, well, I, I guess we could just show it. Uh, let's take Astro Train. Uh, you can remove this. And then you can take this and fold it in front here. And then the way that they're showing it is that you can peg. Well, actually, there's no real uh, pegs, but they say that you can, you know, put the shuttle like this. And then it's, you you can, I don't know, drag it. There's no real peg, unless I'm new doing it wrong. So please, uh, you know, put it in the comment. I don't mind being wrong. So anyway, so I'm gonna remove this. Uh, same with Galaxy Shuttle. The thing is that Galaxy Shuttle, again, there's more paint on him. So the joints are tar tighter, so it's harder to get this thing out. And of course, everything on pegs. All right, back from pegging everything back together. Um, sometimes there's gap. Uh, this, on both of them, sometimes they're gonna open up a little bit. So it's um, well, actually very annoying. But if you look at the uh, the details, uh, silver windows, blue windows, I like those better. I like, uh, you know, same de demarcation, I guess, is that a word? Uh, for uh, where the, uh, the paint uh, switches. Uh, you have the same, you know, highlights, uh, just a different color. Uh, the paint is, of course, different. Uh, here it's battle damage. And you have that uh, yellow and red uh, square. Here you have a more something you would actually see on an earth style uh, you know flying device maybe not a shuttle but an airplane or something like that also you have uh, well what else for pain detail that's pretty much it um well there is okay extra highlights for the uh, the four arms here uh, which is the back of the shuttle this is all black you have details on the fin and I have to say, they fixed that. My, it's super hard for me to get that fin between these pieces here so that it collapses and it stays there. So most of the time I transform it and it's loose. Uh, they fixed that here. It's way sim simpler, works better. Um, kudos to Hasbro for that. Uh, you still have that big joint here, uh, you know, sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, and then the other uh, stuff. Maybe I'll get decals and get some pin covers. Hopefully, I love pin covers, you know that. Uh, the back, so silver reactors on one, blue, metallic blue on it, on the Galaxy Shuttle, looks really good. And, you know, I, I a lot of people were giving grief to this uh, alt mode. I don't, it's fantastic, I love this shuttle. But true enough, the highlight is going to be the uh, train mode, which is coming up next. All right, and here we are in train mode, and our locomotive mode, I guess because it's old school stuff i love this out mode so much it's truly the highlight so there's one with guns the other one without i'll show you in a minute why i just want to show you how you store the guns inside it's uh, very simple but i do love i man i love astro train like his colors and everything but the, the all black with just a little bit of white man it looks good kind of reminds me when dodge did the ram special edition with no chrome everything was just black and it looked really good. And this one kind of reminds me of that. The deco, not the alt mode, of course. But I, I love it. A uh, couple of things that they could have done better with both uh, is that the front end, you know, there's spinning wheels, but it doesn't touch the ground. It rolls fine. I mean, all the wheels roll. Even, you know, there's wheels uh, underneath here for the cab. All those wheels here spin no problem. Uh, and even these, but they don't touch the ground, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's just my thing. Same thing for Astro Train. I prefer the all black, but I do prefer that this matches up. I mean, the blue here and the silver. I mean, the silver kind of okay, 
but the blue sticks out like a sore thumb like it's crazy i i don't understand it so still looks good uh they have the same molding you know here uh the back but you have you know a little more color this red dot here is that actually is the the peg hole from the inside uh, this is what you see uh, when uh, the, the weapons are stored uh, so here you'd have a black dot and uh, you have you know there's the Decepticon logo here there's nothing well maybe on the other side let's look now there's no Autobot logo on Galaxy Shuttle except underneath and I'm having both I have a little tabbing issue I guess I should have twisted the head a little bit uh, turn it around but it doesn't, um, oh, maybe now, nah, it doesn't stay tab properly, so that's, that's a shame. But I do love, you know, it, maybe the black should be broken up, you know, with some highlights, but I, I don't know, man, I really dig the all black mode. Looks really good. And it's the same, uh, same thing, you know, tabbing issues, uh, that wasn't resolved with the new fix. You know, there's the tab for it, but it doesn't fit well doesn't uh, doesn't peg properly on my copy anyway same thing on the other side uh, but no I think it's a fantastic repaint oh yeah and the inside if you remove this which is super tight because of the paint basically you have the uh, shoulder cannons or gun that goes on the side you peg them inside here and then in the inside so the, on the inside here, you have the missile pod and the two other uh, big guns uh, that you just uh, kind of place over like this. And then you just fold everything up. And I think it looks uh, it looks the part. I mean, it looks good and it makes sense too. I mean, the Autobots you know, would probably hide their weapons uh, during transport as a Decepticon wouldn't care and just flash his guns. So oh, there you go. We're gonna put that back. Well, actually, no, because now we're gonna do the final thoughts. So, final look at the uh, train mode on uh, Astro Train and Galaxy Shuttle. All right, guys. Uh, this is actually for my final thoughts. It's a quick uh, reshoot because uh, looks like I didn't hit the uh, record button earlier. So basically, uh, I just wanted to show the uh, big gun mode, um, which looks completely goofy. I mean, if there was an extra handle, well, I guess maybe you can somehow move the hand like this, peg it here. So now, kind of looks like he's wielding a, uh, a big cannon gun. Yeah, okay. All right, that could work. I can see it. But I mean, you know, if there was an ab, oh, there is. So you twist it like this and like this, and you go, you know, like Schwarzenegger. So yeah, I guess I guess that could work. Maybe I'll display them like that for a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, really pleased with everything about Galaxy Shuttle. I'm extremely happy to have this guy in my collection. I love the paint. I love this face sculpt. I just wanted to show you, you know, of course, he's uh, a long lost uh, cousin or uncle of Jazz. Of course, they don't have the same visor shape, but you know, it, it, there's a huge similarity there. And also, uh, color-wise, you know, it's uh, pretty much the same thing. But, I'm really happy with the Galaxy Shuttle. Love the mold. I'm really happy to have this guy in my collection. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick, uh, somewhat comparison video. I don't do those uh, very often. Uh, if you did like it, please uh, hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.